This walk starts from Greendale in Wadsdale and it's a straightforward climb up the southwest side to Middle Fell. After walking north along the ridge, we drop near Greendale Tarn and walk over boggy ground to the eastern flank of Sea Talon. And after a steep climb, we reach the summit trig and ancient cairn. We then head south over easy ground to Catbuilds Buckstone Cairn and then walk further on to the lovely cairn at Glade Howe. We then carry on to the Buck Barrow Summit and Baghdad. To finish, we visit a very special cairn on Brown Howe and then make our way back to the car. Little did we know as we set off this morning that this was going to turn out to be a very special day indeed. Now 81 years old, Joss Naylor, Lakeland's legendary fell runner, has over the years become known as King of the Fells, a true Iron Man. His records for fell running are numerous. The two that stand out in my opinion are one when at the age of 70 he ran 70 fell tops covering 50 miles and ascending 25,000 feet in under 21 hours. Secondly, for me, the most amazing is someone who has climbed Scarfell Pike six times and at best done it in 4.5 hours, is his record of running up and down England's highest mountain in just 45 minutes. An achievement that I reminded him of as we chatted today, and he informed us that a helicopter filming him coming down Scarfell Pike literally dragged him down the fell. Unbelievable, Josh. Just Josh has featured on many documentary programs on the Lake District over the years and is a well-known figure to those of us who love the lakes. A true Lakeland legend. And as for this meeting, well, it just doesn't get any better. And I make no apologies for the emotion that's clearly in my voice. Josh Naylor, can't, I just can't believe it. I just can't believe my luck. 81 years old and still running down his local favourite fell. Extraordinary.
we walked along the ridge, the conversation was still about what we'd witnessed. The clag started to come down, but we just did not care. When we last walked Sea Talon, Dave Galloway and myself walked round to the north face and walked up from there because we wanted to look at Haycock. On this instance, we walked straight up the east face. And if you're going to do it, bear in mind it's very steep indeed. These pictures don't really depict how bad it was, but the clag was really thick now on top of Sea Talon. However, this is the Lake District and the microclimate does its thing again. As a result, once again we're treated to wonderful views of Wasdale and Westwater. Maybe I have waited for too long Maybe I got caught up in the storm And I sent you off With the three fells we intended to climb now complete We now wanted to finish off a special day with a special can It's all over the world You're lost in the wind You saw We were coming to the end of the walk and indeed the trip and the long drive ahead, but we still had time for a bit of messing about. Are they all over safely? Yeah. I can't do it. it, it I can't jump again. I'm going to get a wet foot. You know I am. <laughs> Here we go. I'm coming. Oh yeah, we'll stop that and get over this back. You won't like this video, you look like a right old man. <laughs> Come on, you wimp. Booty, 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 booty. Go on! Yeah! Go How was that, Brick? It's <laughs> <That's> lovely. <laughs> well, and my story is nearly told again for another trip to the Lake District. This is the final little push down. Three little fells this morning. And uh, we're going to drop down here now. And that's all going to be over. There's Grimes, Chris, and Colin all waiting for me. And over there we have the cars. And there's all the screes. Lovely. Lovely job. See you later. Not a bad first week in the lakes for our new team member Colin Billum. 
Climbs Ubarra, his first Lakeland Fell. Ascends England's highest mountain, Scarfell Pike via Mickledore and scrambles up Lord's Rake to Scarfell. Throw in Great Gable, Green Gable, Middle Fell, Sea Talon and Buck Barrow and finish it off with a chance meeting with the legendary fell runner Joss Naylor, who I have wanted to meet for over 14 years. Now how can we top that? Well he's going to find out this August the 5th. And so will you. Yeah. Hey. 